For many remote and regional citizens, Starlink may sound like the only suitable solution to get high-speed internet into their property. And generally speaking, they are right. So Starlink is able to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to just about anywhere in Australia, provided there is clear line of sight to the sky. Bad luck if you live in a cave. However, there are a few downfalls. So one of them is that the router that comes with Starlink has a very low output Wi-Fi range, only about 300 meters square, which is equivalent to a small office area. So does this mean you need to get multiple Starlink dishes to cover a wider area? So while, while you could do that with some success, a much more economical and flexible approach is to use our range of Ruji products to extend and amplify the Wi-Fi from the Starlink router. So this product range will provide faster speeds, better stability, more capacity, which translates to more devices, and can be used to propagate large outdoor coverage bubbles. So before we go into this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with the latest tech innovations, helpful tips and tricks, and only the best in connectivity solutions. So there's two simple ways that we can extend and enhance your Wi-Fi experience when using Starlink. The first is through the use of an AP, which aims to increase output signal. The other is through the use of a mesh router, operating as a wireless repeater, which then provides a number of further extension and enhancement capabilities. So the easiest way, arguably, to enhance your Starlink connection is to connect it to the Ruji Ray RG Wrap 6262G Wi-Fi 6 Outdoor Omnidirectional 360 Degree Access Point, or the Wrap 6262 for short. So how does it work? If you've been watching our previous videos, you should be familiar with Ruji's access point range. But for those that are new to the channel, an AP is an access point, and it works to produce a Wi-Fi signal when connected to a source of internet. In its simplest format, you simply mount the map mount the RAP 6262 on the roof. Existing TV antenna mounts are a great location for this and don't interfere at all with its performance. Um, you then connect it to the Starlink Ethernet adapter, which is purchased separately from the Starlink website, and then follow the setup guide for the AP provided you're in the box, and voila, you'll generally see roughly about 100 meters plus worth of radius or Wi-Fi coverage and access. Another method of extending your coverage is through the EDW3200 wireless mesh router, which is arguably just as easy as the former method, if not easier, so as it doesn't require any cabling. So simply follow the setup guide with the EW3200, select wireless repeater as a source, and then input the SSID and password to begin wirelessly repeating signals throughout the premise. The beauty of the mesh repeater method is that you can add additional routers into the mix that will wirelessly sync up at the touch of a button. Also, with the addition of a number of RJ45 or Ethernet ports on the back of the router, you can even mix and match different APs and bridges to send signal up to 5 kilometers away. So both of these options are incredibly versatile and cost-effective ways to provide you and your family or operation with better connectivity. So if you'd like to know more, or perhaps need some advice on what's best for your particular circumstances, please feel free to reach out to us via DM or any of our usual contact methods, and we'll make sure you are looked after. As always, thank you for watching. Hit those like and subscribe buttons, and don't forget to always stay connected. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. See ya.